Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, Flying by Wire have released the latest stable version for their A32NX Airbus A320neo mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And uh, today, just a very short video from me telling you guys about it, letting you know what to expect, and talking to you about some of the brand new features for those of you who use the stable version you'll now be able to enjoy. So please do click that like and especially the subscribe button down below as we pass 5,000 subscribers and let me know what you think in the comments below as well uh, especially uh, in relation to features and things what your favorite features might be of course a lot of these have already been included in the latest development version for quite some time the last stable update was back in December before Christmas so lots to be packed in for those of you who use the development version or the experimental version and as you guys know I use the development version all the time when I'm testing things then very little will change because the project will always just continue to add things to that the stable version will stay the same for quite some time so for those of you who like to only use the stable mod then this is quite a significant upgrade for you and there's lots to talk about so on the outside we've got loads of brand new sounds uh, both in and outside the aircraft. The aeroplane itself now has been hard forked from the default A320neo so it appears as a separate package inside your Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft selection menu and you'll have to now update all of your liveries from flightsim.to accordingly to support the new hard forked version and it's only a good thing for the sim it means that it's less likely to be affected by those uh, pesky updates whenever Sobo changed the default A320 of course. We've got a new flight model improving the way that the slaps and the flaps work on the aircraft and in addition to that we've got new engine models as well so better fuel flow, better engine performance itself. We've uh, got lots of work done in inside the aeroplane as well including electrical system updates um, the sounds in particular are, are massively upgraded, so you guys are going to experience quite a change there. We've got improved exterior lighting, and as you can see we've got beacons, strobes flashing away in daylight at the moment. And this is what it looks like at night time as well. Really immersive exterior lights, volumetrics, you can see the strobes bouncing off. Incredibly bright landing lights as well, absolutely stunning work done there by the development team and inside the flight deck then without the floodlights on the centre console we've got loads of new updated lights, textures and the overhead panel is absolutely stunning as well. Fantastic work done by the team with the dome on, it lights everything up completely differently and there we are with some different light settings too. All new in the latest stable 0.6 We've got custom camera views now included in the drop down camera menu as I'm showing you guys on the screen here. You can select showcase and some of these additional showcase cameras here include custom views. There's tons and tons of stuff added in uh, and I'll show you guys some of the features inside the aeroplane too. So we've now got the printer and we've got a hugely upgraded MCDU with new fonts, new functionality. Uh, sim brief importation as well has been improved a lot in this we can pull all our latest metals ATIS information linked via various networks like VATSIM into the MCDU and we can print it as I have done there with the metal for Gatwick we can print it out of the printer at the back tear it off stick it in the middle of the display there loads of new really swag textures in the aeroplane itself as you guys can see here lighting and things like that and of course the overhead panel has been reworked as well with loads of new crisp textures and lighting upgrades of course one of the big things is the electronic flight bag so we've now got the EFB and the coffee cup included with some uh, top of descent calculators and some basic implementation of the EFB so far uh, check out the channel I've got loads of tutorials on how to use the top of descent calculator in the electronic flight bag for the A32NX to help you guys out there. Go down to the centre pedestal then. In addition to all of these new textures and reworked tiles, 
and dials and knobs. We've now also got a split radio stack. So on the left we've got COM1, on the right we've got COM2. We can turn one of them on and off independently. We can flick them across to various different frequencies. And we can change the right hand side one independently of the left hand side one. As you guys can see here. Which is really cool. Also, the transponder has been updated and improved as well. So now it's not just like previous where you could just type over the previous transponder uh, four letter squawk code. Instead, you need to click to clear each number or double click to clear the transponder entirely for you to type in your new code. We've got the altitude C chord as well. So for those of us who um, climb or descend, if we come out of our altitude too much we get the altitude C chord warning now audible as well and we've had loads of ground proximity warning system updates and improvements too and one of those significant there we go one of those significant improvements is the fact that we have now got an aeroplane in the sim or we've now got an Airbus A320 Neo in the sim that allows us to support config 3 landings as well so when we're landing, clear that. When we're landing in certain circumstances, it might suit us to use a flap 3 configuration. Now the aeroplane recognizes that using the button up here and also a setting inside the MCDU. One of the other significant changes is track FPA, which is not in the stable version until now, which is 0.6. You guys that use it can enjoy it. Click that button there, turn the flight director off, and you get what's called the bird showing you the position of the aeroplane and what it's doing and that's a great feature for things like VOR approaches, RNAV approaches, uh, circle to lands, things like that uh, and again I've got loads of tutorials on the channel showing you guys how to do various challenging approaches in the sim so do check that out too and there's a whole lot more as well that's been improved and updated into the sim so check out the change log for all of the details there's well over two or three hundred different updates and pull requests that have been merged into the latest stable version and I've tested quite a few of those myself as a fly-by-wire QA tester and a member, a loose member of their development team. As always I recommend using the development version as opposed to the stable because that's changed all the time, it's kept up to date with any updates, changes to the simulator itself. But for those of you, and there are still quite a few of you that like to only use a stable version of the mod, then here we are, we've now got version 0.6 which has been released today by Fly by Wire and it is a huge improvement to the previous version. So there's tons of features for you guys to get stuck into, massive improvements all across the mod itself for you to enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments below and while you're here make sure you click like and subscribe down below as well. Check out all my tutorials on the channel for help in flying the Airbus A32NX and get the most out of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to join me for a live stream in the very near future. Thanks for watching.